It's been a week since dozens of Morro Bay residents were wrestling with floodwaters until this day they are dealing with mud and debris. The city of Morro Bay held a community meeting to answer questions and share resources for families impacted by these series of storms. I was there and the ongoing message was that help is on the way, but it will take time to get here. There were couches floating and moving floating coffee tables. Like a surrealist painting, that's how Heather Baker describes fleeing her home as it quickly flooded. About four feet of water rushed right into this home located at the convergence of two creeks in Morro Bay. The thing that went through my mind was how am I going to make my children's lives normal while we're not in our home. So whatever books I could grab off of high surfaces, I grabbed those. Water coming in from everywhere. Surveillance video at Central Coast or cart rentals showing workers rushing to salvage as much inventory as possible. If we're a total loss for inventory, um, I kind of figured about 390,000. We're at the point now where we're kind of assessing where we're at, if we're going to even attempt to reopen. On Monday, the city of Morro Bay held a community meeting along with the Slow County Office of Emergency Services. We're transitioning from a response phase to a recovery phase. Large dumpsters are lined up on Main Street for garbage and debris. The Red Cross also offered assistance. And the cleanup kit consists of a, a bucket and a, a mop handles for those uh, items as well as cleaning solution. County and city officials reassuring residents help is on the way, but it will take time. We proclaimed a local emergency uh, and made a request to the state of California for assistance. Um, that uh, request was accepted and now we're going through the process of uh, requesting federal assistance. That's why the county has been asking residents to fill out property damage reports to be eligible for FEMA resources if they are approved. Uh, that Assistance could include um, money for um, rebuilding their home or partial money for that. Uh, could also be for temporary housing, uh, small business loans. Mixed feelings in the crowd. I appreciate all that you were trying to do, and we as a community just need to stick together. How am I coping with it? I just don't think about it. Really concrete wall. Stop that Overall, a call for action. I think that there really needs to be some changes to the infrastructure that is in the creek. The bridge has pylons that go straight into the middle of the creek. I would have loved to have had 45 minutes. 45 minutes would have, would have been the opportunity for me to save everything. Next week, the county has a meeting scheduled with FEMA and the state for a preliminary assessment of damage caused by storms and floodwaters in our area. If you haven't done so, the county is calling for impacted residents to fill out a property damage report available on readyslow.org.